Hello and welcome back to Heroes of Magic 3, The Shadow of Death. One day for you, three weeks for me, and I hardly remember what I was doing here. Also, before I go back to doing what I was doing, a bit of a service announcement is that I'm not entirely certain as if I will have enough time to pre-record the videos for the next week. So, if there are some interruptions in the schedule, either Heroes or Mass Effect, well, sorry, in advance. <laughs> Hopefully, I will have enough time, though. Anyway, um, so here we have Vakyle, and I could, in fact, go and resupply Sandro. But... I'm not sure what I want to do here, actually. Maybe I don't want to move Vokail for now. Huh. Well, there's Ethric right there. There is a pretty high chance that there is a teleporter somewhere nearby that goes over here. It would take me three days to get over here. It would only take me two days to get back here. And if I went there, I would also protect the gold mine. I'm pretty sure that this subterranean gate is guarded by something that's invisible. Basically, if I want to go anywhere, I need to send Sandro, because he is the only person who can withstand some attacks. And effectively... I want to control as many towns as I can. And try not to build up these towns too much. My priority should be on buying out all of the troops. So I could just do something like this, let Vakyle go here, go back, in case someone goes out of the portal. Yeah. And that will ensure that I will have this gold mine, which is quite important. These troops aren't that bad either. Just that they're pretty slow. Sandra also has pretty slow troops. Until he can upgrade his zombies. Which is really the main. Um, the main limitation here that I have. Well, first of all, just to remember. This is an attack, right? Huh. It's not. There is a black tent. I don't need it at the moment. I need something that's red. The dry world would be okay, but it's not exactly necessary. Okay, so let's go here. Resupply, come back. Oh, I don't remember if I took things from here. And these guys can stay here to defend the town, just in case. Upgrading them would be pretty useful. Hmm, for that matter, this doesn't that bad of the amount of troops that I would get. The problem is I don't have much morale. The golems don't care, but life troops will. Hmm. 
Yes, so there is a portal right there. Hmm. Well, to be honest, there are more troops in this town than there are in this one. Well, if I can follow... Yeah. If I can follow him back into the town. This is only a fort. If I could get him to stay in the town, that would be fantastic. Hmm. Then I could send Vidovina to resupply Sandro. Also take the other things from there. I don't really want to keep this down without defense though. And I don't want to have Vakail go here either. Uh, well, first of all, are there vampires here? Yes. That's important. So with this, I can retreat a bit. Effectively have them... Maybe have them trade. And then... Resupply. I could even try to resupply from this side, because this is, in fact, safe. And if I can easily get from here to their other town, that would be very useful. Is there a way I could boost? Yes. Kind of? Not very well, but kind of. So let's try that. Spell points, that's good. And I suppose I might deal a bit of damage to these harpies. Okay, maybe not. Another turn. Four, two. No, it's not possible. So I just need them to waste some more spell points. There's no way of making it to the next round. But yes, he stayed inside. Oh. Oh. Well, that works for me. Ah, 
but I don't want the whole place to get hidden from view. This is also just a fort. I can't really waste time, so I need to move back, even if that does mean that someone else can try and take the tower. Most importantly, as long as... As long as I can take all of the troops from the towns, I should be fine. In theory, build something, but it's not really that useful. Aha! Nice. and see what we can do. We have four types of troops from Rampart. We have three types of troops from Tower. The Rampart troops are slightly better than the ones from the Tower. So yeah, let's exchange. This. Yeah, that puts a bit of a pattern in the works. And I cannot go here directly. From here I could just pass through this gate. But there is no point. Because it's right there anyway. Yeah, I don't want to waste more movement on that. I need to take this town back. And then I could send Vidomina back here to try and defend the town as much as possible. can stay here to see if I can evacuate troops from here if need be. Okay, so he is still here. Excellent. I just need to reorder some of my troops. Yes, actually this makes the most sense. Three, three... Yeah, they're minus one morale, oh well. Then these ones are flying. Six, five, six. And let's go. They got liches. 
just fine. That means it's also day 7, so I will get them myself. Pretty useful. So I have enemy dead. I'm going to wait and see what they do. I priority should be on upgrading the vampires, though. Oh, nice. Oh, that's also nice. If I don't move, they will use their liches to shoot these guys. Almost certainly. So I don't really need to move them. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. Okay, I did not expect that. However, I'm pretty sure if they're going to target anything, it's going to be the skeletons always. Which means that I can cast something else while I'm here. Uh, not anti-magic, definitely. Um, I do have teleport. Teleport. I could put my vampire somewhere more useful. I have movement of seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So indeed, putting them somewhere in between is a good idea. And then I can decide on where to move them afterwards. Nobody else is going to get to the trouble in time. Aside from the centaurs. They're not really that good at fighting those guys. I would disable glitches. Plan. Oh. Not advanced enough to get inside the town. Okay, well. Should I teleport the whites? How far away are they? Not very far, so if they move somewhere, I will be able to attack them anyway. Alright, well then I will teleport the whites. You fools! But my ballista is pretty amazing. Ethric, you are all bark and no bite. I am disappointed. Really, game, you're not going to give me more necromancy. Two spell points per day is not bad, but... It's also not terribly useful. If I can learn something more useful, I'd rather take something else. 
Can I upgrade estates? If I get the necromancy amplifier. Yes. So I will. They stay here, boost a bit. Now we don't really have anything to worry about. However, I would like to explore a bit. Just to make sure that I don't have much to worry about. I've spent my life buying, selling and collecting artifacts, but lately I've been spending so much money acquiring new pieces I can hardly turn a profit. I think I might be able to start mass producing artifacts, but I've got to have one first to copy. If you could bring me the ever smoking ring of sulfur, I will reward your efforts. Okay. That's an interesting thing to try. And this is going to be a problem. But now I know. Well, hmm. I don't want to lose these though. The thing is, Vidamina is going to perish if she runs away on day 7. Unless I use the Invite Hero ability. But I would like to see if I can delay Ivor long enough so that he does not take over the town. And then Rohail indeed should stay here. Yeah. Yes! I saved at least one of the two. A message from Vidomina arrives. Master, there are two rampart towns in this region. Ethring sent words to them explaining the incredible danger posed by you because of the artifacts you carry. Unfortunately, dwarves populate one of these towns, and when they learned that one of your artifacts was stone from their people, they agreed to join Ethric's fight against you. Be wary when passing through this area. Signed, Vidomina. Stone or stolen? Well, I got both of the towns, so... And I'm not really that bothered with losing this town. Especially if I can just get it back. And then send Sandro back up here. Okay, so first of all, upgrade the estates. That is most important. And get as many vampire lords as possible. Oh, the liches would be really nice. They're not that expensive either. They're definitely better than having the centaurs around. Or the dendroids for that matter. Whatever they do, I will be able to take back Wild Willow. If this guy stays at the Wild Willow, it's going to get much easier. If he tries to go somewhere here, it's going to be a bit more problematic. But, if I take it, then I will be able to buy out some of the troops. Yeah, 
this day one, I am red, so I go first. Well, let's try something. The most important part is to not give him any more elves. I can even run away. Indeed. Actually, for that matter, I have three towns now. have most towns. And Orange doesn't even have a hero. But they're second at towns, which means that Green is out of towns, and this is their only hero. And Orange still has one town. But no hero to go with it. Or a hero inside of the town. Interesting. So if they take over the town, they will be very interested in that. And if Ivor stays here, then I can quite easily take him out. And indeed, in that case, just moving here with Vidamina is going to be the best idea. I cannot really defend against Ivor. Not with what I have on Vidamina. And not with our stats. With for Kyle, I should stay here to send in reinforcements. Would love to buy a Pegasus though. But I'm not sure if I can actually do that. Yeah. It's not worth trading any of my resources, I don't think. Yeah, because I don't even have a market here. I do have one here though. 250. And that's not bad actually. Take a Pegasus to boost. also buy more from here, but to be honest, this is more fodder for necromancy. <gasps> that was a very bad move, Ivor. I am very disappointed. The dwarves are not weak. Whatever shall I do? Still won't be able to get there in time. That is rude. There's no point in animating right now. I can't death ripple. Could 
teleport, I suppose. Uh, I should teleport my zombies once again. Five spell points, so I think I'm just going to wait and see what they do. Even if these guys move anywhere, I will be able to stop them. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is... Very good. These guys won't be able to make it anywhere. That's hilarious. Oh. town, buy out as much as possible, which is everything, take everything, pack, pack, lot, several, several. where their main town is. So as long as I get rid of their hero here, I should be quite good. I have nothing left here, I have nothing left there, so it's only Vakail that should transport some more troops over. Oh, I'm old and wise, and I do not admit just anyone into my home. You may enter when you have reached experience level 10. I don't have that yet. What is my objective? Defeat everyone. So I will have to lay siege on that guy. That is fine. There is nothing in here. I 
Oh. That's a black gate. Could go back into here. Or I can just go forward. If I go back in here, they will go right back out. If they do, I can go right back out again, and then we can play cat and mouse. If I go here, they will probably go over to here. Which is not really what I want. Because then they might be able to take over my towns. Yeah. So let's go back. Indeed, this is where I want to go. Now that I have enough resources, I can start building this town up for real. Oh, I need more gold. And I can use Vidamina to explore a bit. This is very strange. Why would you fight several bone dragons to get a black tent? I guess the enemy is the, the fighting for me? What? Plus minus eight? That is some sort of a bug. Probably due to intelligence. <laughs> Alright, but this will be all for now. And next time... We'll see what the enemies do. See you then. Later.